You're awake? Um, <laughs> hey, darling. Hey, hey, hey. Don't scream. Stop it! <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, <laughs> anyway, um... <laughs> Hi. You don't know me, but I certainly know you. Hmm? You're wondering where you are. <laughs> You're in my car, silly. Where are we going? Well, <laughs> obviously, we're going someplace safe. Someplace where no one can find us, darling. Why did I call you darling? Because I love you. Ah. Uh... This is kind of awkward, you know? Well, because <laughs> I had this whole speech out planned for, you know, when I brought you to the safe house, but it seems that you're in quite a rush to spend time with me. <laughs> so I'll just tell you now. You know, I've been watching you for a while. I was in a few classes with you back in school. I didn't think of you much at first. Uh, you always used to act really happy in class. You would talk to your friends and make jokes, and you studied hard. But then one day, you came in and you looked sad. And I thought, well, maybe... He's just having a bad day. But it was... It was more than that, wasn't it? One bad day turned into two. Then turned into a week. Then a month. And eventually... You were so quiet and alone... That you barely did any classwork. You just, you sat there with your eyes sort of glazed. And, you know, I knew from that very moment that I had to do something. I, I had to save you from, from your, from you, from, from your sad life. I couldn't just stand by and watch you self-destruct. Hmm? What's that? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I was at the bar tonight. You've been hanging out there for a while, so I knew just where to find you. So, um, when you went to the bathroom, I... I just slipped a few pills into your drink. And, uh, then, you know, I just scooped you up and brought you to my car. <laughs> uh, it's, it's funny... Honestly, I had this whole plan for, um, you know, if someone asked me what was going on, I, I would have said that I was your girlfriend, that I was bringing you home. I even photoshopped myself into a picture with you so that it looked legit. But no one asked. I guess, I guess no one cared enough. <laughs> Lucky me, though. Right? Well, then, you know, after that, I just... I just tied you up with some rope and neatly tucked you into the back seat. Yeah, I've been driving for, like, three hours now. I know, right? It's a pretty long drive. It's it's okay. I, I don't mind. I like driving at night, and plus, I get to do it with my favorite person. 
what am I, what am I going to do with you? Oh, <sighs> darling, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything bad to you. I promise I won't hurt you unless you... No, never mind. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> don't worry about it, darling. As long as you're good, nothing bad will ever happen. I would never hurt a treasure like you without reason. Um, well, we're about, uh, I'd say about four hours away from the safe house now. I know, I know, it's pretty far away. It's an old holiday home my family used to use. No one will take you away from me there. So, just sit tight, okay? Oops, mm. probably shouldn't have said that. It's fine, <laughs> I'm just worrying too much. The stars tonight, they're pretty, huh? Well, considering we're so far out from the city, we're able to see all of them. The stars, they, um, they remind me of you. You're my little star. You always shine bright and warm up my day. And when you don't have the energy anymore, I'll, I'll be there to help back you up. <laughs> Actually, what I should have said was I'll be there to help you back up. But, I mean, both make sense. Oh, you're blushing. <laughs> you're just the cutest ever. <laughs> Where we're going, um... Yeah, it's pretty far from civilization. That means that no one will be able to hear you scream. Or hopefully, me scream. <laughs> wow, you are very easy to tease, darling. Your face is as red as a tomato. Oh, don't worry, I'm, I'm kidding. Kind of. <sighs> oh. mm. Mm. Sorry. Um, it's just that I haven't gotten much sleep lately. Usually, I'm up all night watching you. Yeah, I watch you sometimes. It helps me feel relaxed. Oh, nothing crazy. Just, you know, following you home or on the bus. <laughs> I just get super paranoid when I don't know where you are or what you're doing. But making sure you're okay helps a lot. Oh? <laughs> you had a feeling someone was stalking you. Hey, don't say stalking. That, that makes me sound like a serial killer or something. Wait, so... You could feel that I was watching you? Like, a sixth sense? <laughs> That's wild. Also, kind of, you know, insane. <laughs> oh, you yawned. Are you getting sleepy? Well, it's only natural. It's super late after all. Hey. Feel free to take a nap. You deserve it after the day you've been through. Yeah, that's it. Just lay your head against the window. Just, oh my god. Look at those stars, darling. Where we're going, the night sky will be beautiful every night. Something to look forward to. Anyways, just, just get some rest, sweetie. There you go. Close your eyes. When you wake up, you'll be nice and safe and happy with me. We'll eat a delicious breakfast. Sorry, I paused. I was just thinking about, like, how would I describe bacon and eggs and French toast? And I was like, should I say delicious or nice? <laughs> I mean, I guess delicious is nice, right? 
Anyway, after our amazing breakfast that I'm totally going to... I, I will blow your mind. After that, maybe we can watch a movie. Doesn't that sound nice? D d darling? Oh, you're asleep. <laughs> you look so cute when you're sleeping. I'll see you in the morning. Good night, my little star. <laughs>